Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a filter dashboard using the enum list. This is a multiple filter and multiple selection as well. I uploaded recently the introduction of this. This time, I'm going to show you how to do this filter dashboard. So I have a data sample here in collection. It has received cashier payment type and the date, and it has mix cashier mix payment type and mix date. So I wanted I wanted to do a filter in this by having a multiple selection and a multiple conditions. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need to have one table which is doing the filter. So I, I already add the table here and it's composed of depending of the conditions that you have. So I have here the start date, end date, cashier, and the payment type. Start date is a date type, end date is a date type. And in cashier, we have to keep it as enum list because we wanted to have multiple selection. And then I created a drop down here using the data validity. So this is the collection cashier. This is the table and this is the column here. So it, it will produce a list of cashiers that is available in our database. And also here we have the payment type. So the payment type is also an enum list. And I created a drop down which is from the collection table. And the drop down is the payment type. So whatever is the values in payment type so it, it will be a drop down here all right so first thing we need to do is to create a dashboard dashboard view so i'm going to create a new view and keep it as a dashboard and i'm going to name this the same and we're going to add an entries view option so i'm going to add here so i'm going to add the filter in a second okay filter detail okay let's go back to the filter detail so let's configure this detail view so we're going to have here the uh quick edit uh sorry column order will be start date end date cashier and payment time so we're gonna have a quick edit here all of these four conditions and that's it so this is the dashboard view i'm gonna just remove this collection i keep it in menu So we need to have in the another window is the filter data. So first you have to create a slice, new slice. So you're gonna create a slice in in the collection. Uh, this is where we the table. This is that I wanted to do a filter. So we have to create a filter there. I'm gonna name this <coughs> filter report or let's say past tense filtered report then we're gonna have here an expression this is a yes or no expression so we have to use first is not blank then we're gonna use uh, filter filter condition filter so we're gonna filter the report which is the the filter tables we have I mean the fir the filter table so uh, the name of the table is filter so and then we're gonna have this and expression and so only these conditions we need to we need to show so and let's say this row <coughs> that date you can see the date 
let me expand this this row that date is more than or equals to the date of start date and insert this okay then comma that's the first condition second condition is this row dot date now this time is less than or equals to gonna insert end date just remove this so that is the second condition so the third condition is we need to have a multiple cashier so so we're gonna have in this this row that cashier since this is a enumlist type our cashier what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this expression called split so you're gonna split the filter then the column is cashier then we're gonna this is the delimiter we use okay that's the third condition and the last condition is the payment type payment type so you're gonna split the payment type as well okay and let's close the two conditions and that should be okay mm -hmm. sorry so there is some cashier all right all good so this is the this is the expression that I use. So filter if it's not blank, filter this row date is more than or equal to the start date, and this row that date is less than or equal to the end date. This row that cashier is split. Since this is a this is an enum, we're gonna split whatever is in that cashier selection. We're gonna split if it's the if the cashier is there. Same goes with the payment type. You have to split the enum list if the payment type is there. That's all good. Then this is only red only, and then we're gonna add a view. And I'm gonna select the slice that I created. Oops, oops. <laughs> Give me a second. Filter report. So I'm gonna select this is I'm gonna name this same then I'm gonna keep it as a table and in reference view only so I'm gonna all columns then going back to the dashboard here is the dashboard I'm gonna add this filter report Then let's open this in a big screen. Now we have this selection. Let's say here I'm going to select since in my collection. So this is the, the start date is starting from February 1st up to February 27. So I'm going to just uh, use that. Let's say from February 1st up to end of the month. Okay, so which cashier I would like to see the report? So the cashier I want to see the report is Jane. And then let's say I want to see the cash payment. And as you can see, there is a value here. Let's say I'm going to see the card transaction of this cashier. I can see the card. I can see the, all these transactions. If I add another conditions here, let's say I need both of this. I, as you can see, it goes like this. 
also what you can do is you can you can collect a uh, filtered report at like this you can group it by let's say payment type and then once you refresh this you can sort it by like that all right so i can select all and displace me all of this let's say i want just cash it display like this all right so this is how you do the multiple filter condition and a multiple selection filter dashboard so if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video